So let's say that you don't even have Logic Pro 10 installed on your system right now. If you don't know where to start, I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get Logic and install it the proper way. But before that, there are some requirements that you need to know about. First, you need to use a Mac computer that runs Mac OS 10.12, or at least 10.12, which is the version called Sierra, by the way. I always recommend you to use the latest operating system for Mac that is available to the public right now, as well as looking for the latest update of Logic, which, if it is available, you will find it in the update section of App Store. This way, we are making sure that we use the latest security measures that Apple works very hard for us, so we won't get into any troubles. Logic is compatible with the older Macs as well as the new ones. So if you have a MacBook Pro from, let's say, 2008, and it supports macOS 10.12 or later, then you will be good to go. Of course, Logic Pro 10 updates itself a lot nowadays, and therefore this information can get outdated anytime. I still recommend you to use the latest version of macOS and the latest version of Logic Pro 10 at any time. If you see that you can't download Logic from the App Store, then you either need to upgrade your macOS or your computer is too old for running the latest macOS and therefore will not run Logic Pro 10 at this time. You can check what macOS your computer is running on. If you go to the Apple icon, right here, then about this Mac. And this dialog box here is popping up. And as you can see, I'm running the latest version of now, which is version 10.13.3, and it's called Mac OS High Sierra. So my computer is good to go. As you can see, it's from late 2013. So this course is recorded in 2018. So my computer is already, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, five years old. So you can, I think you can use a computer from around 2008 or later for the latest version of Logic Pro 10 that is available right now. You also need to make sure that your processor is 64-bit and not 32-bit. If you have a Mac that is an Intel Core Solo or Intel Core Duo, and these, are, these processors are very old now, then your computer will most definitely not run Logic. If you have all other processors, including Intel Core 2 Duo, which also is very old, then you will be good to go. You actually don't have to worry about this if your Mac is from around 2010 or later. So just to be clear here, to purchase Logic Pro 10, the only thing we need to do is to go to the App Store and buy it with a credit card. We don't have to purchase any physical product, so we don't have to go to the Apple Store or any other store to purchase a Logic Pro 10 box or a CD or something like that. And by the way, there's no Apple software with physical disks available anymore. Mac does not even have optical CD or DVD drives anymore. And let's be honest here. Purchasing software directly from the App Store is a lot more convenient. So how do we purchase Logic from the App Store? Let's search for the App Store by pressing Command and Spacebar. This is my best method for opening up any apps on, on my Mac. Uh, you may go to the application menu or somewhere else, but I love to use the Spotlight search. And you open it up and close it by Command Spacebar. So let's write in App Store, pressing enter to open it up. So as you can see, here we have all of the recommended apps right now from the App Store. So let's go to this little search box here and write in Logic Pro and press enter. There we have it. The first result here is Logic Pro 10. So let's click on the icon here. So the product information says, Logic Pro 10 is the most advanced version of Logic ever. Sophisticated tools for professional songwriting, editing, and mixing are built around a modern interface that's designed to get creative results quickly 
and also deliver more power whenever it's needed. Logic Pro 10 includes a massive collection of instruments, effects and loops, providing a complete toolkit to create amazing sounding music. And you can get more information by clicking on this more here. So now we have every or all the information that Apple says about Logic Pro 10 at this time. And here we have a little more information about when Logic is updated, what price it's at, how large the software is. And it's actually saying it's around 1.46 gigabytes. But in reality, Logic is a lot bigger in size when you start to install the sounds and presets that it comes bundled with. You can also see if it allows you to use it on multiple computers in your family. And you really need to set that up with your iCloud account. So if you go to settings, go to iCloud, then you can set up a family and you can share this software with anyone from that family that you create. And it also shows what languages Logic is available in. And a bit down in this section, we also see compatibility. And this is just what Mac OS Logic will run on at this time. So as you can see, as I said before, Mac OS 10.12 or later. And I also talked about the processors, the 64-bit versus 32-bit processors. And if you were a little bit confused, whatever, whatever processor you need to have, just click on this link here and you will get a more described list from Apple itself. So as you can see, it's only two kind of processors with Intel that doesn't work with Logic. Now when you have decided to purchase Logic Pro 10, let's go to the upper section of the App Store and click on the amount which says $199. So if we click on this one, that will tell us to buy app. And your card on file will be charged that amount if you press that button again. When you created your iTunes account, you most definitely put your credit card information. So that is what Apple is going to use when you purchase software from App Store and Logic Pro 10, of course. If not, a window will pop up letting you know that you have to add a credit card on file and also an option to do so. When this is done and when you bought the app, the downloading of Logic Pro 10 is starting.